I don't know how long I've tried to queue for this, but we finally got it. And it's as simple as this. We're here. No tricky maneuvering, no extremely difficult spot to aim for. Quite literally, this entire roof you can blink onto. And if you've not seen this kind of video before, basically we're gonna let them pop all five gens. They're gonna be looking around kind of confused, where is the killer? And then when that last gen does pop, we're gonna have a full end game build, no edit, infectious bit of mama. And we're gonna see what we can do in that end game. And there we go. Oh my God, there's someone, there's someone right here. I can actually blink on that as well, okay. I wasn't sure if it would have just sent me straight down, but apparently it didn't. We've got three split. I need to go for this one right here, and then I need to get straight to the totem on my left. I think I definitely should go for this. Oh my god, that's bad. I definitely should go for this down first. I think I have to switch to the totem, like, now. Yep. No! I also got all the way to the wall! That's so sad! Okay. Right. This is gonna be tough now. This is a very difficult position to be in. Feng knows what she's doing. I wouldn't even be surprised if she has dead hard here, because she really wants the uh, aggro. Never mind. I take it back. I see the scratch marks going over to main. So they're going for the pickup. Makes sense. Let's actually try not to blink up to the spot a second time. Aimed a little bit lower. You're the injured one. That's perfect. You're my slug. So the one out here is the fully healed survivor. Where did you go? She went into the building. There's another one here. You've done the gate, okay. This could be good for us. This is gonna be pretty tough though, because she should be going for the pickup on the Fang. She did go for the pickup on the Fang. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I wasn't sure if that was the Ada screaming or the Fang. Uh, and she should, yeah, she's right here. Damn, it's unfortunate I didn't get that free hit. I didn't see her until pretty late. That would have been huge though, if I got hit without even blinking. The Fang is pushed all the way round to the edge of the map. How has she got a pickup? Oh, that's really smart to use the locker there. What she should have done as well, is if she just stays in the locker there, there's not a lot I can do. Because then I have to pull her out and it's just tons of wasted time. Oh no, we might have got the downfall might have been just the map being too big. And I think there's gonna be three survivors all by here now. Are they just gonna take the leave? Probably, right? Yeah, I don't blame them. Unlucky, we held a good bit of pressure, but the map, the map size just says no, 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 no. Fair enough. 1K, not the end of the world. Let's see what we can get on some other maps and some other hiding places. As far as I'm aware, the spot should should be right here. What a spot, by the way. Like, it's, it's just complete, just, you know, little ledge. Got a little balcony. Off to the, the void. And that is the last gen I fell off the map. I fell off at the map at the worst possible time. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, well, they've gone to the gate straight away and we didn't get the down that we needed. So this is gone. Just terrible. Well, I need to get this guy off the gate. That's absolutely the plan of action now, right now. Hello, Ash. Goodbye, Ash. Uh, we know the Jill is in the area. That Noed totem is going to be showing up to her pretty soon as well. But just with the nature of this map and how hard it is to play endgame, we there's no way. They got that so quick. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I have to hook this otherwise she gets out. This is gonna be tough. Unfortunately, I can't have Blood Warden in a build like this because I need Insidious to mask my Terror Radius. But wow, this, like, everybody's so split up already. This map is just so huge. I assume they've gone in. Yeah, they did. Like, they have no reason to even try for a save. My blink got swallowed. Oh my god, because that's technically the edge. I can't blink across it. Oh, she didn't go for a save. I got lucky there. I honestly got lucky. If she went for a save, she would have got it. Are we just gonna have one of the worst games ever? Oh, hello. Maybe there's a chance for a little bit more? Jill getting a little bit greedy? I mean, we'll have to see. Hopefully they actually go for the save. Like, they're kind of playing into me a little bit. But I'm not complaining. Bang. Okay, well, I have to hook. He's in the map. I assume he's just gonna commit for a save. I'm a little bit unlucky here because the basement's right here. I don't have the best hooks in the world. If Ash is smart, he doubles back and he tries to get the save here. Oh, there's no way. Is he just going for save? He's not. Oh, he is going for save. He just saved. That's actually really good of him. He saved so that the hook didn't spin at all. So I didn't think he was going for the save. Oh, wow. That is how hard this build is on a map like RPD. 
So I'm going to all reliable little hidden midwitch stairway, which no one can get into, by the way, because this is guarded by two breakable walls. And there you go. Adrenalines. And a pellet slam. Not the best start in the world, but definitely not bad. He's on my no ed, so that's where we're going to be going straight away. And then we need to get across and try and pressure that gate as soon as possible as well. We kind of need to do everything all at once. He actually didn't go for my totem straight away, which is interesting. I'm hoping they didn't jack the gate insanely quick. Like, we just have a little bit of time to get over here. That's all I want. I don't need an insane amount of time, but just give me some game. Just give me a little bit. Wait, they just held W there. What? I thought she would double back towards the gate when she saw me. She just held W. That's so random. Well, I mean, they're playing this well. I got my nowhere out already. Wow. Okay, well, this is going to be tough. Please don't have that hard. Okay, that's my slug. I've got one behind me. If they just go for that gate, they're gone. Like, there's nothing I can do. I just need to try and do as much as I can in this short amount of time. Are they going to go for that gate? Are they just going to stick it? I know the gate's like 90 or something because we saw the three lights. Yeah, they're just going. Okay. Well... If there's no unbreakables, that's that. You can teabag all you want, my man. I am absolutely fine with that. I I just, my luck is unrivaled. In these kind of challenges, my luck is genuinely unrivaled. I never get lucky on 4%. I know it's much higher because obviously they're attempting uh, every single time, but I genuinely feel like people Kobe so much. It's actually crazy. If she holds W there, she's out, but she tried to go for the save. Oh. And there we go, okay. They have a few adrenalines in play from what I can, oh my God, that's so unlucky. No, I just blinked on the other side of the wall. That's so sad. And the Dwight is gonna be off and away. This is tough. RPD has always been difficult for this purely because of the spread of the gates. They're like so, so far from each other. Can I even blink this direct? I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. Okay, we got it in time, okay. Maybe we can actually do something then. And we have an infectious proc right here. And we know the other survivor's purely on the complete other side of the map. I'm honestly really shocked they didn't cleanse out my noed because they definitely seemed like they knew what was going on. Okay, and then there was one and we know that where the Kate is. The Kate's just picked up the Dwight as well. So they're definitely over here somewhere. I just need to make sure that they don't cross. That's the main problem. The Kate had a crew. Okay, Kate, sure. And then the Dwight's just in the library, right? Barring any unbreakables. Wow, I honestly, as soon as I messed up the first blink and they had a pretty good spread, I, I honestly was so convinced I just was just done for. Oh no. Oh, they had Unbreakable on the worst person. That's so sad. That's so, so sad. Literally the one person that was right at the gates, they had Unbreakable. Are they going to try for a pickup? Because the Kate is, or one of the survivors is around there and they're not going to try. Fair enough. Wait. You played a dangerous game there. She almost got picked up. She was so, so close. 3k though. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Considering the Unbreakable, not bad at all. No way! It's a Kobe as well! This game just does not want me to win. I, I don't know how long the BT is, to be honest. But the Yui gets out purely because the Kate Kobe'd. The behavior did not want me to win this one. <laughs> Fair enough. GG's. I don't think they were very happy. <laughs> What is this? They're so upset. Okay, I've only just realized that I didn't remember to record an outro for this. I'm doing a giveaway for two Stranger Things DLC codes, which you actually can't get anymore over on Twitter. So I'm going to link that tweet in the description. Also, we're so, so close to 100k. So if you want to consider subscribing, that would really mean a lot to me. And have a wonderful rest of your day.